welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Sunday. I'm going to be filming some bits of what I eat today. We woke up really late so we've actually just had brunch, which is really nice actually. Um, I had the gluten-free tiger loaf from m &S, which is so nice, and a nice coffee which I haven't had for ages so that was lovely. I'm going to do a few little baby updates I think today as well. Sam's dad's coming round to paint the skirting board because I did attempt that the other day but I had so much acid reflux every time I bent over. I was just being sick in my mouth. So yeah, Sam's dad's coming around to start on the skirting boards because we're gonna do them black in the baby's room. And we've had a whole load of things arrive because I suddenly thought Sam, the other, well, I suddenly said Sam. Oh my gosh, I am now over 27 weeks pregnant. 95% of babies that are born at 27 weeks pregnant can survive and we have nothing. And I was like, oh my God, if I literally go into labor, we have nothing. I'll show you what I look like as well, actually, because I've got a huge old bump going on right now. Huge old bump. Um, I am starting to feel quite big, but I'm loving it. I'm really loving being pregnant um, and really, really enjoying everything so far. always really like short mm. I have totally forgot to even pick my camera up today we had um Sam's parents round because Sam's dad was just helping us get some bits in the baby room ready and we've just had a really chilled afternoon we've just gone on an evening walk because um baby is crushing my stomach and I just don't feel hunger ever I think because my stomach's crushed so I just wanted to try and get my digestive system moving by going for a walk and it's freezing I think it's gonna freeze tonight like all of the cars up because it's so cold. But I'll show you the baby's room actually. I'll show you what's been done. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. So, we're in the baby's room now, everything's in the center. All of the skirting boards have been painted with a gray undercoat. Just excuse this room right now. And all around the door frame as well. Um, and that's going to be gone over on Tuesday and we're going to make that black and then obviously pop everything back in place. I might even make this a vlog that I do over a few days. But yeah, that's, this is the state of the baby's room right now. It's just an absolute bomb site to be honest, but I'm very grateful that Phil did that for us because I absolutely could not do that job. Hello guys, I've just got back from work and I'm gonna do a bit of a mobility session. So I don't know if I said in a previous vlog, but I've been doing my pre and postnatal um, level three training. So I've actually written, well, I'm in the process of writing my third trimester plans and some of them involve some mobility work. I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's kind of dirty, I kind of think it needs a wash. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, do some mobility tonight, catch up on some birthing prep because if you're currently having a baby, you're going to have a baby. If you search on Google, the Positive Birth Company, they have loads of free seminars to watch 
um, to help with breastfeeding or labour or like any questions that you have. It's really, really good. And I've been listening to the one on breastfeeding because I actually don't know much about breastfeeding at all. Um, and they're all like an hour long with registered midwives. Really, really good. So I'm going to catch up on that tonight. But I'm going to get into a little bit of a mobility session and then make my dinner because I am kind of hungry. And I think... Um, when I was filming yesterday and I was saying oh, my stomach was hurting, actually that was like two days ago, we went out for dinner and I didn't double check if the sauce had gluten in and I was in bits for days and it's been three days now and it's for me it normally takes three days after I've eaten something with gluten in to feel normal and I finally feel normal. So I think I accidentally had gluten because my belly feels fine today and it's still huge and growing the baby but I don't feel crushed at all. absolutely freezing because it's about one degrees outside it's so cold i actually hate the winter i am a spring summer girl through and through and i cannot wait for it to be warm tonight we're just having a very simple dinner just really easy i'm having an omelet and some crinkly chips which i cannot wait for and sam's gonna have i've got sam gammon but i don't like gammon feel very zoomed in again but I think it's just my camera so yeah Sam's got ham egg and chips and I've got an omelette and chips I don't know why that's such like that's like something that my nan would make but such a good meal and then I also need to prep actually my chili for tomorrow because I'm on a late shift tomorrow and by the time I get home it's like quarter to nine and I'm normally still hungry so I'm gonna prep a chili con carne as well so I'm gonna get that all ready tonight Oh, I feel really good after a little stretch. I did a big walk yesterday on my lunch, so it was nice to just stretch out today and feel pretty good afterwards. I literally cannot stop craving chocolate, which is really weird because I don't normally like chocolate. Well, I do like chocolate, but I normally go for sweets. And I've just made a healthy chocolate dessert and it's unreal. It's like a chocolate mousse. And you have a whole avocado. Um, two, well, one tablespoon of green and blacks, half a cup of frozen raspberries, some salt, and maple syrup and vanilla extract. And it's so good, oh my God. This, Sam, this dessert is so good. It was so good. 
was lucky I didn't go to the shop because I've just made an absolute elite chocolate dessert. I don't actually know how to get it out. It's so thick. <laughs> Doesn't look very appealing. 